earthlings. I think it all started under the sink. I found some tiles and then I broke a cup. So I'm like wondering what to do with this. So I went to the art gallery and I got some inspiration and I took a class on how to mosaic. This is a full kit of these tiles that I had to keep. Oh my goodness, they're cute. But I don't know anything about any of that. And I kept some of this mosaic stuff and crap. Oh my word, look at this. Okay, and this is like really great tile grout. Looks like I'm all set to set up something, but I have no idea. I really don't know how to use this. So, we well, can't really throw that kind of cool stuff away. So I headed on down to the gallery, and I saw Carmen. She got the blue ribbon. So I asked her to explain to me how she made her creation. Hi, I'm Carmen Rodol, and this is my, my piece of work. Mm -hmm. It is a mosaic. Oh, is made oh, on a green oh, board. Uh, about three quarter inch and half inch, and it's all cold, cold bend. So I end up using my vise and a cheater bar, which is a pipe that I put in and then I roll it, and I snip it off so I can get my round, my round uh, framework. So after I have it done, then I weld it. So it's all hand welded, oh. stick, stick welded. Wow, clean it up, clean it up, and then I collect recycled materials like the sleeping bags and old blankets. And, uh, and then I fill it up, and then I just wipe it, adding the chicken wire to it. Well, when I have the form along with the chicken wire and everything, the skeleton of it, then I bring in the. Um, the, the cement mix that I do, which some people call it um, hypertufa, is what some people call it. And what that is, is it's a mixture of various cements in vermiculite, or perlite, and sand, and, um, and uh, what is it? I also use the concrete bonding glue. It, it looks white, it looks like milk. So I, I eyeball it. There is really no. Um, oh. That's measurement that's for me, really everything cool. is from experience. We so I just know how much it needs and what the texture of the cement mixture is before I start adding it to the body. Well, it's just it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And this one took two years, a little over two years to finish. Two years? Yeah. Two years, yes. Yeah. Each of the tiles, this is Calavera tiles from Mexico. So these, I went and picked up my first, my first shipment of it in Tijuana when I was living in California. Mm -hmm. So all the reds, the greens, and the yellows, and oranges, they're Talavera. And then all the glass beading or glass tiles, those you can find in Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And what I've done is just collected a lot of the stuff. So I have, I have enough to make another one, but I'm always looking for tile, especially in Talavera. I just order it from Tijuana, at the actual Talavera factory that's there. That's very cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Thank you, Carmen. Oh, my pleasure. Anytime. You got the blue. I did. I was shocked. Yay. <laughs> that's awesome. Then, of course, Annie Moriarty was there, too. I signed up for her class. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Today I'm with Annie Moriarty, and she has, she's amazing. Come over and look at her stuff. She's got mosaic things, see? And she's amazing. <laughs> anyway, this is her stuff, and this is her, and she's gorgeous. Be bold, be brave, just cut. Wow. And some of this stuff, um, the really, really old stuff will fracture in really weird places, so it's hit or miss whether you're going to get it to go. So, um, what I would do for using this, now that I've got a cut in it, just start cutting, just kind of cut across like that, and then um, cut again. Are you on the edge? Yeah, or thereabouts, yeah. Okay, and then you're gonna get lined up around, 
because you're going to want to cut get to the far side of that around this way here. Whoopsie. <laughs> here because you will notice at some point that there are differences in thickness. Mm -hmm. So the difference between this and this right here. So the final idea is to make it so that when you run your hand over it, um, you don't have a huge variance in thickness. So that there's like some that stuff that's... Right there. Yes. So that there's... I feel that. Yes. Okay. So, the great thing about construction glue, and the reason I use it, is because it's quite thick, like um, more than toothpaste, I would say. So it's got, for things that are super thick and you need them to be glued down, you put glue on the back and you squish it down as hard as you can so that it's as flat as it can be. And things that are skinny need to be up in the air so that they're closer to the surface. Does that make sense? Ooh. Yeah. So we cheat and we put glue underneath it so that it holds it. And just don't push as hard. put it on its tippy toes, yes. So we got... Uh, <laughs> okay, so to do the difference between these two, yes. I'd, I'd apply it the same, but I'd be pushing this right. one down harder than this. Right. Mm -hmm. And you put actually a little bit more glue underneath oh. this so you... you Plump stuff up that needs to be plumped up. <laughs> One of these dealies is like a lifesaver because um, you can, yeah, you can feel. Look at these little. Oh, they're already gone, Mom. Yeah, presto changeo, and the really, really bad ones you can throw out. But you but get what you can you sell. Get, you salvage. get a whole bunch of stuff that you can use. So okay. this is gonna I work. still see some powder in here. And I That's know. okay, because we're going to mix okay. some paint in there, and then we'll see what we come up with. Oh, she's, she's going to mix paint in there. Yeah. She's, she's, she's going to so go yellow. We are custom tinting grout. <laughs> custom tinting grout. Yes. Okay. All right, mix that on it's like in there. Mustard. And yeah, like butter. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ooh. And that's because of the picture you're going by. Mm -hmm. I want yeah, some yellow. It's a green and yellow mixture. It is. It's messy. Okay, and then also um, take a mixture and take um, a whole bunch of that and go. Well, okay, you got a whole bunch right down there. Yeah. And what you're gonna do for your sides, you're gonna go oh, and just, oh, and smear just smear the whole try thing. Try and create and, and into pull the it edge. Up underneath so gotcha. it gets up underneath your, your pieces. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, depending on which boy, I've had a, a few of them that I thought they were fine, and then you go in there and there's so what you're gonna do is take your and you can actually just use um, this. Yeah, I would okay. go with maybe a little wetter mm -hmm. so that you can, it'll let you smooth kind of, it out. So. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Okay. And then you're going to want to also, um, I would hold it. Yeah. So pick yeah. it up so that you can access all of it and then oh, yeah. also. Okay. I'm sure like she's doing And I can still, you said I can still do more cleanup tomorrow when things dry. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You're yeah, I will do that too. too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yours very, looks fantastic. Very, very that is gorgeous. Oh my I gosh. really like it. Those yeah. colors are so beautiful. Oh, I like it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> All right, anyway, we want to thank Annie for teaching the class today. Annie, we had a fun time. Long. Actually, I didn't teach a class. I brought the stuff and introduced you to the process, and you got to teach yourself how to do it because that's how that is. Thank you. Anyway, thank you. Uh, more respect for mosaicers. I really do. And I think I might go ahead and keep this stuff. You never know. When you're going to get inspired. Well, I got to go to work. <laughs> I do. <laughs>